Right in the heart of Florence, there is a place of pilgrimage for any art historian. Stretching across the Ponte Vecchio, above the heads of the bustling tourists, lies the Vasari Corridor. Named after the Renaissance painter and art critic, Giorgio Vasari, its plain, whitewashed walls house the greatest collection of artist self-portraits in the world. Dating from the early 16th century until today, this kilometre-long corridor charts the journey of Western art history. A rich and illustrious genealogy this is a who's who of the great and the good in art, a pantheon of masters. But one thing you notice pretty quickly is there are precious few mistresses. There are 1,700 artists self-portraits, but only 7%, 7% are by women. A situation that I found repeated on the walls of the world's most important museums and galleries. Women are models and muses, but there is an absence of female artists themselves. Why is that? Do women lack talent? Or does it speak to a more profound truth about the history of women? Confined, as they often were, to domestic and subordinate roles. Starved of art education forbidden to even gaze on the naked form. In this series, I want to reveal that there were successful female artists whose reputations have simply faded into obscurity. I'll retrieve dazzling female artists from the shadows, whose talent and tenacity overcame almost insuperable obstacles. on a journey from the suffocation of creativity in Renaissance Italy through the emerging opportunities and continuing frustrations of the 18th and 19th centuries. To a modern pioneer who struck out alone to define an entire landscape, proving for all time that women could be artists with a capital A. This is the hidden story of how women painted the soul and crafted the fabric of the world around us.